Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to redo my art room slash craft room. We are gonna totally give it a brand new look, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I did was I took out everything. I took everything off the shelves, off the cubbies. Um, what I did was, and I also took the window treatments off, but um, what I'm doing, I actually have this on this side, and I'm gonna post some pictures right now to show you what it looked like before. And um, I did a kind of like an art room, craft room makeover about two years ago and I installed these alpha shelves, which I still like and I still love and that's why I'm keeping these. But I'm gonna be taking it off and it's really pretty easy to take off because um, I'm gonna be painting the wall. So I'm gonna, I bought, this is the color paint right now. I'm gonna show it, pop it up on the screen to show you. Um, and so I'm gonna to go to Sherwin-Williams and buy the paint and I'm going to paint this entire room. I did decide to leave the ceiling that color just so it's not this, all the same color. I think it would give it some dimension. I have my some of my Christmas wreaths hung up there but I'm gonna be taking those down. I'm just gonna store those. I'm not gonna have them hung up in my craft room anymore. This room is really going, hopefully it's gonna look very different. That's my goal. Um, I do have carpet in here, I wish I didn't, but you know, the makeover is gonna be on a budget. So um, I am I'm keeping my Ikea shelving. These units used to be on this side and they used to be just um, horizontal. But I decided to keep them vertical. Um, I am going to buy, I think it's around $199. I think is an Ikea desk and the desk is going to actually go here. It's just a simple desk with two drawers. Um, and I'm going to put in an island, an island in the middle of this room. Now this is a 12 by 12 room. So um, when I put in the island, it is going to be about 63 inches long. And um, I'm going to try to make it around 34 to 36 inches high. So that's, it's, and every wall is going to have a certain purpose. So this is going to be where I'm gonna store a lot of my art and craft supplies. Everything's gonna be pretty much here. Then I have my desk where, my desk, which I'm glad it has an outlet right there, but my desk is going to be where I'm gonna have my laptop and um, just basically, my where I do a little business right there. So that's gonna be my little office area in a sense. Then I got some new window treatments. I would love plantation shutters because then I'd have a lot more wall space as you can see. But uh, those the rod up there, um, I have some window uh, treatments and it's basically an ivory color. And I think it's gonna look really nice next to that taupe color that's gonna be on the wall. Um, I also, I'm keeping this. Now, this is where I'm gonna be doing a lot of my painting. So I have a tabletop easel, and as you can see, these tables are in pretty bad shape. I really got paint on it. I mean, it's a working, it's working tables. So I'm gonna try my best to clean that if I can. And if I can't, you know, I'm, you know, it's, that's where I'm gonna do my painting anyway. 
So I'm not gonna be too worried about that part, but I'm gonna store all my paint supplies here. There's some more cubbies down there for storage. And I'm actually going to keep my, um, I think I'm gonna put my drying rack underneath the table because it's definitely going to fit there. I'm gonna get a black mat, so the drying rack will be sitting on the black mat. And uh, when I do paintings, like watercolor paintings or something like that, I can put on that drying rack. Another thing too is I'm going to have a skirt. I think I'm gonna put the drying rack down here though because I'm gonna have a skirt that's going, it's kind of like a table skirt. It attaches here and it hangs down. And then this way it'll be all covered. It'll be all camouflaged so you won't see that drying rack. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the skirt come all the way here because I am gonna place a chair here. So I probably won't have the skirt hanging here besides I have to get to those cubbies down there. So I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that part yet, but it's just a thought. My shelving up here, I'm still gonna use for storage. Um, I might put some decorative pieces up there too. I have a pegboard that I'm gonna be attaching over here and a whiteboard actually to write down notes and things like that on, on my uh, whiteboard. And so I'll be keeping those things over here. Um, I have another little storage uh, bin for fabrics and I think I might put that there, I haven't decided yet because the island is gonna consist of two cubicles like these Ikea shelves. It consists of four and there's gonna be one on each side of the island. And um, I have that long countertop on top and I have, I'm gonna have a drawer unit underneath it. And so I haven't decided if I'm gonna put, I have another uh, draw unit that houses my paper, so I might put that underneath the island or I might put it underneath here. Anyway, these are all things I have to think about. And you can see that I'm, I'm really wanting this to work this time. I feel like it was nice last time it was okay, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to that island because I don't, I just don't do painting. You know, I do a lot of arts and craft type of things. I make wreaths. As you can see, I make, I made those Christmas wreaths up there. And so I want to, here's that one. That's 12 days of Christmas wreath. <laughs> and so I want a table, a really big countertop so I can do that. And I have a little, another little station that's gonna go over here. This is where I'm gonna keep my, sort of like a wrapping station when I do gift wrapping and things like that. So I'm gonna have that in this little corner behind the door. So um, these are all the thoughts I have in mind. And I'm gonna start to take down these shelves and do some painting. So I think it's gonna be pretty easy. So taking these off and I'm gonna make sure that they are in order when I take them off and I remember to keep them in that order because when you put it back on, you know, it has to be in that order. And these tracks right here come off really easily. You just unhook them. And then I have just that long rod up there, that long track, and um, I'll just have to paint right up against it. If you notice the light is flickering, I have a light bulb that's about to go out. So I apologize for any flickering lights that are in here. But um, I really wish I could change that light fixture too. That would be awesome. I might be doing that, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna get to work and next time when we pop up here, I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have some paint on the wall. baseboard but I'm gonna to have to tape up here going around that's gonna be not fun because <laughs> I'm not gonna do the ceiling so I need to make sure and then this line right here I got to go with the level and draw a line and make sure I do a straight line with the paint so 
That's gonna be a job, folks. That's gonna be a job. Okay, not sure if you can see, but I went with a pencil and a level, and I went straight down all the way around. And when I got to this part, it would have been a really small smidgen. So basically above that bar, I am going to leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think I'm going to uh, paint up there. So it'll be even with the bar kind of thing. And then it'll go up here. That's easy because it's right against the wall. Um, I just gotta pray that I do not. Uh, I gotta go really careful with the brush. I'm probably gonna have to put painter's tape up there and uh, so I don't hit the wall. And then I'm just gonna go around the door frame, so I think that should be fairly easy. All right, so it's pretty much taped. I still gotta do up here, tape that, and then I can start painting. Okay, so I got the paint. This is Super Paint Sherwin-Williams Paint and Primer in One Interior Acrylic Latex. This is going to be a flat. Um, the color is Stone Lion, the number is 7507 in case you're interested. But uh, here are the some of the supplies you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need paper towels, maybe a little cleanup spray, depending. A uh, drop cloth. Um, I just got a real cheap drop cloth. Um, you can buy something more expensive if you wanted to, but I don't really see the need to for a 12 by 12 room. You got some stirs, you got a pan, of course. You want to get a brush. This is a purdy. P-U-R-D-Y, pretty brush. Um, this is at a slant, and these are good for like corners and things like that. Um, of course, I got my roller here. This is another pretty product. Um, I forgot how much it was, but I know it was less than $20. And um, as you can see, everything else is taped. I gotta fix that up there, but everything else is taped. I did decide not only to go with the line with the pencil, but also to put the tape up next to the wall. So everything is done, everything is prepped, and uh, I think I am ready to start painting. So let's take a look at that color paint. It looks really good, I'm liking it. I think it's gonna look really good on these walls. All right, I'm gonna get start. I'm gonna get busy. Okay, so I'm really liking the color. It looks great. I'm really happy with it. And I think it's gonna give nice contrast with the ceiling. The ceiling's gonna remain that color. So it's, uh, I think it's gonna go really, really nice. I can't wait to uh, finish it. Looking good. So I apologize for looking all messy, but it is done. I have finished. Um, I did not put everything back in the art room, craft room yet. I'm gonna organize everything, throw a lot of stuff away, but I do want you to look at the furniture. This is gonna be the first part, first video, and then I'll, the second video will be on all the um, organizers and things that I got to help keep myself organized. But I wanna show you what the room looks like now. I'm really excited about it. So here it is, as you walk in the hallway, there it is, there's my island. I absolutely love it. It's 36 or 37 inches high. And I'm loving that I got the, um, the risers at Ikea for that unit. I don't know what it's called. Um, I think it's called Halif Halifax or something like that. I'll have to look it up. But um, this unit I already had and I just started decorating a little bit in here, but very I love the window treatments, the ivory, oh, looks so good. My little desk area turned out just like I thought it would. And again, this is an Ikea piece. This is an Alex drawer. Very easy to assemble, a lot easier than the, the Vasey drawer unit that I got here. I got this one off of Amazon. Not that it was terribly hard, but this one took longer to put together, but I 
I think I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Um, <laughs> so let's take a pan let's take a panoramic view. All right, so the wall color turned out awesome. And if you notice, I have this. I'm gonna steam it a little bit. It is fabric, but I put that there to hide my uh, drying rack. So if I do any oil paintings or anything like that, it'll be underneath there. I did put a black mat. Hopefully you can see that. So it would rest on there, the uh, drying rack, and if anything would drip. But usually I'm pretty careful, but in case it does, there's a black mat underneath it. I did get these two black mats, desk mats off of Amazon. I'll leave it down below. Um, this one I just got today, so that's why it's a little wrinkly, bubbly, it needs to flatten out. But this one's been sitting for a couple of days and you can already see it's getting a little flatter. These little clips were a really cool idea. This is Velcro. So for instance, if I need to take this off and get to my drying rack that's gonna be down there, It'll be very easy, and then I can conceal it, put this up, and then it looks really nice. Nobody ever knows it's there. <laughs> the um, alpha shelves are still up there. I love that. I, I cleaned them all. Everything in here has been cleaned, so I'm really excited. It smells really good in here, too. It smells very lemony. <laughs> I have a little whiteboard there. I love that. My pegboard, I didn't put everything up yet. I just hung my pegboard up. Um, I decided not to put holes in the wall, so I used these little hooks that I got. You can find these off of Amazon. Uh, Michael's used to sell them, but they hold a lot of weight, so I really like these a lot. And um, easy to put up, and you don't really see them too much. See, just like that. <laughs> um, a little plant I got at Ikea, I saw it, I couldn't resist. It was fairly inexpensive. And so I just love how that looks. This is my, this unit I already had, and this is where I'm gonna keep all my uh, papers in here, like my watercolor papers or tissue paper, things like that. That's gonna be stored there. I just got this new mat now. This is a very large mat. I just love it, it's a Fiskars. And so it's great for measurement. Love how that looks. And um, this chair, I put this chair together. I put this desk together. I put this draw unit together. I did it all myself. I'm so excited. Yvonne did say he was gonna help me, but I didn't wanna bug him. He's so busy working all the time. So I figured I'd do it myself. So the desk was fairly easy to do. Really nice unit. It comes with two drawers. Love that. See that? And they slide out very nicely. This lamp I already had, I thought it looks good in here because it's white. So you can see the main colors are basically white, that dark brown, the light brown, very natural, love it, very calming. This unit has, this Alex drawer has really nice drawers. This one down here, really deep. There's two, three really deep drawers. There's three of them actually, and then two regular drawers. So I really love that. Um, so this has a little indent here in case I wanted to sit at this uh, counter. This chair does raise, goes a little bit higher, but I thought about getting maybe a little bar stool and just tucking it in. I don't know yet if I'm gonna do that or not. Basically, I'm always gonna be pretty much standing here, but you know, in case I wanted to, that's there, which I really like. And uh, yeah, I found this basket at Target. I wanna get some more. Look how cute these are. I really love them and I love the natural look, the off-white and uh, the brown here. So these baskets, I forgot how much it was a Target, but I wanna say 15, 20, something like that. I'd like to get maybe three more, I'll see. And I, But I got a, some other baskets and things like that, so I gotta fix it up. This, I got a Target too, I really like it. Look at this vase, this was $35 but I thought it was really pretty. And anyway, that's the tin shade sign that I made. I thought that would, looks nice there, looks good for an art room, craft room. But I am gonna put a couple more pictures up to decorate it. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I did all the painting myself, so proud of myself. I think I did a pretty good job. And I did have to move these shelves down a little bit for that 
draw unit. So that is gonna take a little bit of my space for my wrapping station I was gonna have. So I basically have a cart that's gonna be tucked right behind the door. And um, I might put up something, I don't know, for ribbon and stuff, I haven't decided yet. But the wrapping paper and stuff like that will be housed over here along with that cart. So when the door is open, once again, it's out of the way. You don't see it. And um, you know, in case it's a little messy or anything. But I have some baskets that are gonna go here that'll look really nice. And um, yeah, I'm so excited, so excited. I think I did a pretty good job if I do say so myself. So now here comes the organization part and going through all my things and seeing what I need and uh, throwing things out and fixing things up and trying to make it look really nice. But this is definitely an art room, craft room that I'm gonna be super proud of. I think I did a really great job. Thank you for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe and please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye.